Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this Mattel figure review. Now this is, I always say this, I do always say this, it is a special one. <laughs> the reason this one's a special one is because um, it's a basic figure and rarely do we review basic figures. But we have to review this one because this is still the only way that you can get this person, uh, this performer. He's not been on the scene for a while but he is coming back. At the time, this guy was the biggest sign-in by NXT, um, and I can tell you that it is Hideo Itami, uh, also known previously as Kenta. Um, so some of you might know him as Kenta, but most of you will know him about Hideo Itami. Some of you might not have heard of him at all, um, but I'll tell you a little bit about Hideo. As you can see, I got this figure from Smith's for five pounds five pounds and this is still the only way you can get this figure um or the only way you can get hideo this is the the only figure they've ever done of hideo atami so um i think you could probably find it in the shops and it should still be cheap if you do um but one uh, you know i'll tell you about him for a fiver can't go wrong can you um i'd say that he's 35 he made his wrestling debut in 2000 um he started with all japan uh, pro wrestling. Um, he's an amateur kickboxer, uh, so he can really, really strike. Um, he was trained by Takayama, uh, and he was also trained by Kenta uh, Kobayashi. Um, and what's really weird is that that is his name as well. He was trained by someone who has got the same name as him. Um, it got so confusing that he just dropped his name down to Kenta, and that's where that came about. So um, he he was known in pro wrestling Noah as just Kenta. I can tell you that he started in pro wrestling Noah in 2000 and I think he worked with them up until he joined NXT. Um, he's a three time junior heavyweight champion for them. Uh, he had a match of the year contender for the heavyweight title in 2006 uh, but just came up a little bit short. Um, he is also a winner of the NTV junior heavyweight tag tournament uh, defeating Maru Fuji and um, Kota Ibushi uh, in the finals of that. He has won the tag titles, junior heavyweight tag titles, um, on six different occasions with different partners. He's also won the heavyweight tag titles uh, on one occasion. He beat uh, Morishima uh, for the heavyweight championship in 2013, and that was the moment that he really you know, was put on the radar. He won the heavyweight title in 2013. He held that for a year and defended it successfully nine times, uh, losing it on his 10th uh, um, defense of the belt. Um, he's done wrestling with uh, Ring of Honor um, and he's faced people like uh, Daniel Bryan, uh, Samoa Joe, um, you know, Davy Richards, the list goes on. So, you know, he's been around and he's faced some big, big names and he's held big, big titles. And as I said, in 2014, NXT signed him up and he was, at the time, the biggest sign in NXT had ever made. Um, his first feud in NXT as well was against the Ascension. The Ascension kept beating him up and uh, he had to go and get a partner. Who does he go and get? Finn. Bala. Um, and so I think it was TakeOver Our Evolution. It was the Ascension against Finn Balor and Hideo Itami. PWI Magazine ranked him the 22nd best wrestler in 2013. Tokyo Sports named him Technical Wrestler of the Year in 2011. And I suppose the big one um, in WWE terms was that he was in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 31. He qualified um, through NXT, kind of like an NXT tournament, uh, he won that tournament and, and the prize was he got to go and be in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. So he has performed already at WrestleMania. But if you need something else and you to, to kind of put the cherry on top, I only have to say three letters um, and those letters are G, T, S. Go to sleep. A move made famous um, in WWE by CM Punk. 
um, you know, the GTS, the, the go to sleep. I don't actually know uh, what Grimm's toy show, he has GTS wrestling. I'm not sure what that's named after. I don't know if that's named after the go to sleep move uh, made famous by CM Punk, but it wasn't Punk that came up with it. It was Hideo Itami. It's Hideo Itami's move. And he won best move uh, two years uh, in 2006 and 2007. Uh, he won best best wrestling maneuver. I think that was from Pro Wrestling Illustrated, um, and it was for the GTS. Um, GTS for those of you who don't know, it's where you've got someone up on your shoulders. You throw them down, and as they're coming down, you bring your knee up, and and your knee connects with their head as they're coming down. They obviously collapse down on the floor. One, two, three. You should pick up the victory after a move as brutal as that. Um, I can. I remember. I think it was on breaking ground that um, he 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 hadn't done it, and I don't think he still has done it in NXT. But he hits it at this house show, and the place erupts. The place goes mental. You know, the guy that came up with that move hitting it in front of this live crowd. Um, and and, it, and it, it was Rob. The reason that a lot of you might not have heard of him is because he's been out for a year. He's had this horrific injury. I think it was a shoulder injury. Um, and they thought he'd be out for six months. And then in January of this year, they announced he was nowhere near returning. And so it's been another six, seven months. And um, finally, he will return on NXT TV. He will return next week as you watch this. He will be on next week's NXT. So, um, yeah, it felt right to do this. And, and there's been a few requests for it as well. And uh, I'm more than happy to finally get round to reviewing uh, this basic series, Hideo Itami. So, um, I think that's enough about the guy. Uh, he is absolutely fantastic. One of the best strikers out there and really... You know, striking and strong style is very much in fashion at the moment. You know, thanks largely to Hideo Itami and Shinsuke Nakamura and Kota Ibushi and the work that's being done over in New Japan and, you know, um, striking and everything. This is a real master of that form of wrestling. So um, very much looking forward to getting him back. In regards to the figure, you can see the packaging on the front there. This was a pretty short series. Um, and he had six figures in it. It had a Xavier Woods, and it always has a John Cena. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, a Dean Ambrose, uh, Naomi. Um, those were the six in this series. Um, so let's get it open, and we will have a look at the figure itself, which won't take too long. Boom. Boom. Done. So uh, here's the figure. It's a basic, so the articulation's not going to be incredible. Like it won't bend in the middle or anything. Obviously, it turns. Head still turns, arms. I've got to be honest though, I think the fact like the arms fall quite nicely down to the side. Um, I really like the hair, the comb over on the side. It's it's nice detail, it's, it's good. They've caught the hair really well. Maybe the colouring on the beard might just be a little dark. Um, I, I would have had that, you know, a little bit lighter. I think the face scan on this uh, is is quite good, actually. Um, I'm quite impressed with that. Really like his ring attire. I um, think it's really cool. And he's got the, the logo on the side of the ring attire there. I'm not sure if you can quite pick that up or not. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, white wrist tape um, and... The guards on the boots, you know. Again, he's a he's a, he's a he's a striker. He's a he's a kicker, um, an amateur kickboxer. So uh, no laces on there, you know. It's covered so that he can with padding, so he can deliver those kicks. Um, good body type. Feels feels pretty strong. This figure, you know, as a basic knee pads as well. Um, as a basic, I think this is. I think this is a strong eight. I'm quite happy to give this a strong eight. It's not. It doesn't do anything amazing. It doesn't really come with any. Uh, well, doesn't come with any accessories. Um, but if you, this is still the only way you can get him. And if you just want a decent figure of, you know, one of the best strikers in the business right now, uh, I'd recommend you pick this up. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you found some of that 
interesting or you know you might have already known about it all but it's just nice to see Hideo back or will be nice to see him back uh, because there was a time where I thought he was done um, we still would have reviewed it but I think it gives this review a little bit more energy and a bit more excitement to know that he's not done he is coming back he can still make massive massive waves so uh, personally I would love to see him go up against Nakamura uh, for the NXT title um, this this guy is is you know worthy of that absolutely cool thanks a lot for watching don't forget you can follow me on twitter and on facebook at wrestling days uk uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel it would be brilliant if you would or could um, and hopefully i will see you again next time bye for now